Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BSD Solution. In this session, we are going to discuss about time and labor configuration process. So let's start today's session. So here in this diagram of the time and labor configuration process, there is a lot of going on in this one graphic diagram, right? So let's just jump in and break it down. Our objective right now is to have our worker enter time on an online time card. So you will see our worker far over to right in this diagram, but we don't have a time card yet. So we have not set up rules for how to calculate that time they entered, your worker entered. So to make that happen, there are three distinct setup paths on this one diagram and each other of these uh, three boxes are distinct setup for one of three different profile component. Those being the time entry setup profile, time processing profile and time device setup profile. And you will see that they all coverage to the right by using being associated with a group. Right, uh, which is now sitting between the profiles here and the workers, your workers. Okay, so the HCM group is the entity that allow us to tie the profile that we want to the workers that we want to have use them. So I have mentioned three distinct paths here, the time entry setup profile, the time processing profile and time device setup profile. So the first of two profile we will be setting up in our session here is the upper layer path that completes time entry setup profile. Okay, we are talking about this first one. The first part. So this profile determines the layout of the time card and what action can be performed by the other user and hence also their approvals. And this setup path is the first part. In the second part of the diagram here in this part leads us to the time processing profile that determines what rules are applied to the time card entries. This setup path is the second part. And a small note here about this diagram is that uh, they list a bunch of rules and represent the rule setup component. Right here you can see that the rules, the time category and what are the rules, the time entry rule set, the time calculation rule set, the workforce compliance rule set. Here you can define. Okay, so now the two paths for setup accumulate in those two time entry setup profile and time processing profile and those two end up with the SCM group to again be associated with our worker. So this diagram is such a helpful way to look at the setup and it's really the big picture of how all of the setup parts come together. Moving ahead, now we have the transaction design studio for time and labor. So another tool that you might like to know about is the transaction design studio here, TDS for short. And it's used to configure transaction and pages for responsive application. It's a part of the HCM Experience Design Studio, which is a common component within HCM Cloud. So, and it's used to configure responsive UI page for the multiple application. Here you can see a little bit more description about what you can do in the transaction design studio. So once uh, one of your option is to configure field display, meaning that we decide what shows on the time card with within the TDS. So you can see if a time attribute is delivered value or a custom one that you created and whether it's enabled for use, just because of values delivered doesn't mean we have to use them all, right? So you will be able to see which ones were enabled in TDS. And it's also in TDS that you select which read-only fields will display on the time cards and on team cards team time cards within TDS. Page Composer is where you personalize the responsive UI pages to display the attributes and tabs that you want your user to see. 
so this is about today's session this is about uh, how you can configure the process in time and labor uh, how you can use the transaction design studio for the time and labor so i hope this method is clear to you thank you so much for watching the video